I've often professed on the channel how much I love Power Rangers. It's also no secret that I have very strong opinions about the franchise. I wanted to clear the air and talk about why I love Power Rangers so much and why I have such strong opinions. It only makes sense to start with my history with the franchise. First of all, I've grown up with the series. Although I was technically too young to watch Mighty Morphin as it was airing, it was still the first season that I watched. My earliest Power Ranger memories are of watching a VHS tape that had the five-parter Green with Evil, perhaps the most iconic arc in Power Rangers history. This arc needs no introduction, as it introduced the most beloved ranger, Tommy Oliver. As a kid, I missed Zeo, but I did watch Turbo, In Space, Lost Galaxy, and Lightspeed Rescue. About this time, I was starting to fall out of watching the show because I had a hard time watching it. I missed Time Force and Wild Force, but managed to catch Ninja Storm. At this point, I was becoming a teenager and was starting to put Power Rangers away. By the time I watched Dino Thunder and saw the return of Tommy, I audibly said to myself, wow, they're out of ideas. That was the nail in the coffin for me. From then on, I moved to playing more video games and card games and sort of forgot about Power Rangers for a while. It wasn't until I came home from college one summer and I saw my dad watching reruns of Jungle Fury. I was starting to embrace my childhood memories again and wanted to indulge in a bit of nostalgia, so I watched it and fell in love all over again. Since then, I went back and rewatched every Saban season, plus experiencing the Disney era for the first time. To this day, I've seen every season except for Ninja Steel and Hyperforce. I also have passing knowledge of the Boom comics. I've said all this, and I still haven't answered the question posed by the title of this video. What exactly does Power Rangers mean to me? Well, it is a difficult question to answer because I have many different answers. On the surface, Power Rangers, no matter the season, is a fun romp of good versus evil. It has an excellent mix of comedy and action. As a kid, I looked up to the Rangers as role models. I wanted to be a Power Ranger, not just because of the cool outfits and the powers, but because I saw the principles they embodied. I loved seeing them struggle against a variety of threats and never giving up no matter how bleak things looked. This mindset shaped me, and these are ideals that I still hold to this very day. As an adult, I appreciate the writing and world building. I can now look back on the show with a discerning pair of eyes. I now have the vocabulary to articulate what I like and what I don't like about the series. Of course, I realize that Power Rangers is a show for kids. I would never say that Power Rangers should be gritty and dark for the sake of being edgy or more mature. I've seen a lot of Power Ranger fans my age suggest making Power Rangers into something little different than those superhero teen dramas. That's just not a good fit for Power Rangers in my opinion. I should also clarify that criticizing something is certainly not the same thing as hating it. In fact, I would argue it's the exact opposite. For example, if I hated Power Rangers, I wouldn't bother talking about it. I would just ignore it. But because I care about Power Rangers, I want to see it succeed, and I want to see it be the best that it can be. Because this series is so unique and special, and there's basically been nothing like it, including the Sentai that it originates from. Power Rangers itself has evolved into something completely different than Super Sentai. That being said, there is so much room for growth, and for telling stories, and for displaying just really cool set pieces. Giving the excuse of, oh it's a kid's show, it's just for kids, it doesn't need to be good, it doesn't need to be great, it doesn't need to be deep, well, I just don't find that to be a particularly engaging or strong argument, because, what, just because it's for kids it can't be quote unquote good? Does it not matter what we show to our kids? Now I'm not saying that I grew up with amazing kid shows or anything like that, but at the same time, why not challenge kids? Sure, some of them may click off, and yes, there are business reasons for making shows like this more diluted and easy to digest, but at the same time, you're really doing a disservice. Why not create something that's not just appropriate for kids, but is also entertaining enough to hold the attention of the adults who are raising said kids? One of the things that I've always been appreciative of my parents is that they took an interest in what I was interested in as a kid. 
I grew up playing Yu-Gi-Oh, video games, all that kind of stuff, watching Power Rangers, and they were there with me every step of the way, enjoying it alongside me. Now yeah, I'm sure they probably didn't like it as much as they let on, but at the same time, there was something there that they could latch onto. And why not continue that trend into today? Why not create more kids' media that not only can they understand, but is also something of sustenance? The way I see it, a lot of kids' media these days is glorified key jingling. It's just something to put on to entertain a kid, to pass the time, or whatever. I say all this because the current state of Power Rangers is a bit bleak for me. Not because the show is of poor quality or anything like that. The series is definitely suffering from stagnation. The higher-ups in charge of the series are more concerned about selling nostalgia than giving fans and a newer generation of kids something new to chew on. I'll save my full thoughts on this for another video, but suffice to say, even in its current state, I do still love Power Rangers and I eagerly anticipate the release of Cosmic Fury and whatever else they have planned beyond that.